Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now today we are going to discuss the implication of this expression for motional EMF delta V or the motional EMF, EMF E is equal to integral V cross B dot DL. This expression we have derived in my previous video. Now we will see what this what is the importance of this expression how it can be used to solve numericals. Now V cross B okay so that means if V velocity of the vector, uh, conductor and the directional magnetic field they are parallel or anti-parallel in that case the potential difference or the EMF will be 0 okay and this DL is the this is a vector so that means if we have a conductor of some shape like this and uh, this is semicircle and suppose this is radius is r and this conductor is moving in this direction with velocity v perpendic perpendicular to the magnetic field b magnetic field is directed inward so in that case since this l this dl it is a vector quantity so you need to take the length from the initial position to the final position the shortest length so in this case the length will not be pi r but it will be twice it will be twice r okay so let us apply this concept in solving one question from concept of physics now this is electromagnetic induction question number 32 a copper wire bent in the shape of a semicircle of radius r translates in its plane with a constant velocity v a uniform magnetic field B exists in the direction perpendicular to the plane of the wire. Find the EMF induced between the ends of the wire if the velocity is perpendicular to the diameter joining free ends B the velocity is parallel to the to this diameter. Okay. So this is concept of physics book problem number 32 chapter electromagnetic induction. So let us see how to solve this problem. So in first case this is the semicircular wire and it is moving in this direction with velocity v magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane in which the semicircular wire is moving so e the motion emf see in this case v and b are perpendicular v is in this plane v is directed in this direction b is perpendicular to the plane of the paper and directed inward so v cross b is vb sine 90 degree v cross b it is vb sin 90 degree so that is equal to vb okay and uh, it is given that it is a semicircular wire of radius r so length is this twice r this dl length this twice r so the emf will be vb into twice r so this is the answer vb into twice r second part of the problem now in this case if you see you have a semicircular wire magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane of the wire and it is moving in this direction v okay now if you find v cross v cross b here v cross b v is in this direction b is perpendicular to the plane of the paper so v cross b will be in in this direction v cross b is in the upper direction okay length is in this direction so v cross b dot this so the angle between v cross b and the length element it is in this case it is 90 degree okay so it is a, there is a dot product so that means here the emf induced will be zero okay see v v is in this direction in this case b is directed inward it is inward direction so v cross b so this is b v this is v velocity vector in this direction magnetic field is directed inward so v cross b is in this direction so this is the direction of v cross b okay length is in this direction length it is in this direction so angle between v cross b and length it is 90 degree so this dot product will be zero so emf induced in this case will be zero okay now let us solve one more problem problem number 33 now problem number 33 a wire of length 10 centimeter translates in a direction making an angle of 60 degree with its length the plane of the motion is perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field of one tesla and that exists in the space find the emf induced between the ends of the rod if the speed of translation is 20 centimeter per second this is problem number 33 of electromagnetic induction from the book concept of physics 
So in this case, you have a conductor, okay, and it is translating at an angle 60 degree. It is translating at an angle of 60 degree with the velocity of the length. The velocity vector it is at 60 degree to length of the conductor. Okay, magnetic field is directed outward. Okay, now strength of the magnetic field is given to be 1 tesla. The speed of translation it is 20 centimeter per second. Okay, now the expression for EMF, motion EMF is V cross B dot DL or I can write it as V cross B dot L. V cross B dot L. Okay. Now in this case, V cross B. See, B is perpendicular to the plane of the paper, directed inward, directed outward. Sorry, and this is the direction of V. Okay. So if this is the conductor of length L, it is moving in this direction with the velocity V. This is theta. So this is v cos theta and this is v sin theta okay magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane of the paper and directed outward so as we have seen in the previous case see v cos theta the velocity component v cos theta can't generate any emf okay so that means the emf that will be generated will be due to the perpendicular component of velocity the component of velocity that is perpendicular to the length of the conductor so it will be emf will be v sin theta into b into l so this is v is in this case it is given to be 20 centimeter per second so that is 0 0.2 sin 60 degree strength of magnetic field is 1 tesla and length of the conductor length of the conductor is 10 centimeter so that is 0 0.1 meter so solving this this emf comes to be around uh, 1.7 into 10 power minus 2 volt okay so here the concept is see velocity here if you see in this case see this velocity is along the length okay so this velocity is along the length so emf was 0 so component of velocity which is along the length it will not generate any emf so here this is velocity vector v cos theta is along the length of the conductor so this will not generate an, any emf which component of velocity will generate emf v sin theta so v sin theta is responsible for generating emf so this e is equal to v sin theta b t into l l is the length of the conductor so this is how you can handle problem number 32 and problem number 33 of concept of physics so i hope this concept is clear to you and uh, the application of concept is also clear thanks for watching this video good luck